Hi, my name is Matt Dilworth. I'm a Saturday Intermediate League goalkeeper and I also run and manage my own Sunday League side. And today I'm going to take you through some footballing basics to help get you started. So this is how to do a football warm-up. It's a, a very important part of any training or match day routine. It's one of the thir first things that you're going to do. It's designed to get you warm, to get you stretched out and to get you ready for the activities that lay ahead, be it uh, a thorough training session or a competitive match. Um, to start off with, I always find it beneficial just to get my players to have a little jog uh, up and down the side of the pitch, little more than a walking pace, just shaking it out, getting themselves used to and building up their, their body temp temperature. I then take it into uh, some activities uh, where it uh, takes into account all different parts of it bending down, jumping up in the air, you know, sidestepping, uh, shimmying, little runs on the sprints on the spot, uh, things that and, and build it up as it goes along uh, to, to get it up to a suitable level. To introduce the balls, uh, we then uh, just take a couple of little drills, passing drills, getting people's first touches in. Another common ball drill to use in a warm-up is follow the ball, where you have two uh, split the players into two groups, standing in front of it, each other, a distance apart. You're laying the ball into the uh, into the other end, getting your touch in, and following the ball, joining the back of the other other queue. You can progress this up by then picking the ball up and throwing it in to be able to chest it down and, and lay it off and pass it and follow your pass. Uh, and again, it goes towards getting people alert for the for the match situation ahead. Then, obviously, most importantly, is stretching. For me, running a men's side, I, I tend to think that my players know their bodies better than I do, so I tend to let them do their own stretches. But obviously, the basics have to be covered with it hamstrings, calves, quads, and stretching your upper body. These are all very important, and it has to be you have to hold these stretches for sort of eight to ten seconds to really feel the benefit. If you're not feeling the stretch, then you might as well not be doing it because it won't be taking its taking effect and that's how to do a football warm-up.